After last night's cell phone sale turned robbery in the parking lot of Cashwise in South Fargo, police posted to their website about the importance of using safe exchange spaces for people who are buying and selling. But what if a safe space is quite a ways away from your home? Valley News Live's Joseph Ojo shows us some precautionary measures you may want to take when heading to make a transaction. More and more people are using social media as a quick and easy route to buy and sell items. And for many, Finding a convenient location to seal the deal is a welcome option. They may, they may choose a parking lot or a convenience store or a grocery store that's close to their home. Fargo PD will tell you, considering added protection in a safe space from people without good intentions is the best option. It's going to be somewhere that's well lit and well trafficked. So that means that there's going to be someone there who might be able to um, see something that might or may not happen. Located on the 1200 block of 25th Street South in Fargo is a safe exchange location with good lighting and surveillance cameras all around. Although the area isn't monitored 24-7 and officers don't assist in transactions, their surveillance at the safe exchange location will more than likely deter a criminal from committing a crime because there is a likelihood of them being caught. They are going to be of better quality than some cameras that may be 10, 5, 15 years older. Um, when you go to a convenience store or grocery store, you, you can't for sure know exactly what quality and if they're even in working condition. So if you're planning on making a trek away from your home to buy or sell an item, Schindeldecker recommends sharing your location with someone, try to bring someone with you, and pick an area where people will be. If you have the name and the phone number of the person you're meeting, um, give that to somebody. Let them know I'm. this is my plan is to meet them at this time. Please check in with me at this time if you haven't heard from me yet. And if you still can't get a hold of me, then call the police. In Fargo, Joseph Ojo, Valley News Live. We reached out to Moorhead and West Fargo Police Departments and found they do not have designated safe exchange stations. For more information on locations in Fargo, head to valleynewslive.com and click on this story. Meanwhile, the search does continue for the man linked to that robbery at 13th Avenue South Cashwise. That's where police say the victim met the man to sell his phone. The suspect grabbed the phone, took off running, later displayed a handgun. Now, police say that they're continuing to look for a young black man about six feet tall with a slim build, short black hair. He is wearing a blue or green sweatshirt, had dark pants on. Call Fargo Police if you have any information.